What's up guys, got a GE dishwasher that won't drain. As we can see, there's standing water in here. Filter looks a little jacked up, I don't know why. Just remove that rack real quick. Model number we are working with, GLD T696 TSS00. Now, if you have any kind of dishwasher that's not draining and it's hooked up to a disposal, especially a garbage disposal that has recently been installed, check to make sure that nothing's blocking it and the knockout is gone. Looks clear, knockout good. If that solved your problem, I'm glad, but stick around if you wanna see the main cause for these dishwashers not draining. I'm guessing that this drain pump is clogged somehow, but first we gotta get this water out. I've got my little shop back here. Um, if you've seen my Whirlpool dishwasher won't drain, I used a turkey baster to get the water out, or you can bail it out with the cup, whatever works. This is the fastest way though. Flathead screwdriver, just pull those tabs out, one on each side. The way that this one is mounted, we've got screws on the side. Um, an alternative way that you might run into is if you have a strip up here, if it's granite, it could be mounted up here, but this one's mounted on the side. The power source for this dishwasher is under the sink. I'm gonna secure the power. bottom panel held in by two Phillips screws, one on each side. Now you don't have to pull the dishwasher out to make this repair, but it's easier if you do. I can do it without pulling it out, but I want to show you guys the easy way to do it. Snip this insulation back. That way we can see what we're doing. Here's our pressure switch. Over here is our drain pump. I'm going to remove this pressure switch just so you can get a better look at what I'm doing. I normally don't do this either. So the difference between Whirlpool and GE dishwasher drain pumps is the GE ones kind of like screw you. I'm gonna put screws in the pump, even though they, it's the exact same thing as Whirlpool. So two screws, one at the bottom, one at the top. I'm feeling this pump right now and it's hot. So it may have burned up. From here, you just twist to the left and then pull out and a little residual water is going to come out oh, more than I thought got a rag right here there we go twist and pull and there's like some chunks of food and some other stuff in here. A little piece of metal. It's usually glass, wine glass. Now I'm putting it back in. Insert it in to the top and then twist down to the right. And you can feel it lock, wiggle it. And then put the screws back in that you took out earlier. If your pump is burned up, I'll leave a link in the description on where you can purchase this. We'll do a speed. We just gotta fill it up with water. 
Let me put all this back together first though. Before I put everything before I put everything back together, I'm gonna clean this filter. Looks like it's been out for a while. Put it on the dishwasher rack. And then uh just run a clean empty cycle. That's good to get rid of soap scum every now and then anyway. Filter goes in first, and the cover, and then this screws in. Make sure that locks. And let's test the, test out the draining. We've got our cycle selected. You can hear the drain pump moving, but just want to check for leaks and make sure that nothing else is stuck in there. So I leak tested the pump when I put it back in. Um, it leaked everywhere. Seal's good. I don't know what's wrong with it. So I'm just replacing the pump. Here's the part number you need. WD26X10049. Right, here's our new pump. Nice clean seal. Nice clean motor. White on top, red on bottom. Twist up. There's a little zip tie there, right here that you gotta cut. Let's try it again. Then I'll put the screws in. Screws don't need to be in there to test for leaks. All right, looks good. No leaks. We'll put the screws back in. Now I'm gonna drain it. Turn this off. Back on, and I'm gonna start a cycle until it drains. Doesn't really matter which one. Looking good, no leaks. 